But I'll tell you what, folks, because of the ridicule in the comments on, I think, uh, B2 videos before this, on my mallet, my beautiful, where is it? Oh, there it is. There's my baby. My beautiful firewood mallet, my maple block that was a little punky in the middle that finally gave up the ghost. When the piece flew off, it conked me in the head. Not too hard, but it was kind of funny. It did not make the camera, though, because it didn't happen on camera. But, uh, well, I guess it's time to retire this poor thing. Gosh, all the memories. So many memories with this. But anyway, this was the third, this was the third mallet we had building this barn and cutting joinery. But this white-ass peg handle that we made for these mallets... This thing got driven into every new piece. That held up a lot. You guys, do you guys realize how many hundreds of joints that handle pounded out? Still usable. I'm going to save that. That's going to get framed, probably hung on the wall. So anyway, what brings us to the point of this video, the subject matter, is it forced me to break out the uh, chisel mortiser out of the pit of despair. This, this mortiser has sat in the attic of that shop for probably five or six years I'd say and uh, you know I had a had a little I had to do a little bit with it to get it going so I guess pretty much wanted to show you guys this tool and kind of what we're up to a little bit tonight we're of course working on a mallet now we'll make a proper we'll make a proper hardwood mallet for the shop uh, using just some a maple some maple blocks I had kicking around but uh, Anyway, after years of sitting, this was pretty hard to index, so we just oiled up the rail back there. So th these machines are pretty handy. It saves a lot of time, saves a lot of work. It does a nice clean job if you keep them sharp. Let's see if you guys can see that. It does a really nice clean job. Now, I enjoy this one quite a bit. I mean, it's not really made for big stuff, big projects. This is probably kind of the limit. I mean, for height-wise, that, that is the limit, pretty much. But, um, so yeah, pretty fun tool. I, I really enjoy this one. thing to watch with this, if you're using them, let me move the camera a little closer. And kind of a design flaw, I don't really care for too much on these uh, deltas. And before somebody accuses me of advertising, this is not an advertisement, folks. I don't have any tool sponsors. I'm just showing a tool I like to use. So anyway, zoom in a little bit, see if we can keep it focused. Hey, not too bad. All right, so a bit of a design flaw I don't like about this. On this particular mortiser, this doesn't have any notches or anything to set that where it's going to be square to this back fence here. So you kind of have to, you get the set screw right there. When you lower this down, you got to line it up on your lines, make sure you're nice and square. This piece always stays really square. This piece is adjustable. So that works pretty nice. There's a rod in the back, this guy right here. And that adjusts up and down so you can go a little bit deeper, so you can cut all the way through the bottom. But really, it, it handled this close to 3 inch block, the hard maple, pretty well. But the bits are good and sharp. They are everything's a little rusty that's been out in that building because there's no heat out there, anything like this. This one will be this shop will be all heated, but anyway, they're not too bad to use. So enough of me yakking about it. I guess we'll get to the content tonight. It's uh you guys could just run watch me run some power tools and work on this mount a little bit, which I don't have time to finish it tonight. Story of this channel's life. You could never get a finished project in one video. That is the price of putting up videos every day. So anyway, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy it. You'll see this thing in action and I'll catch you on the other side of it.
bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free So there we have it folks, uh, that is our hollow chisel mortiser, thing works very well, it's, uh, it's a good machine, really enjoy this machine, it's new enough that it's made in friggin China, but what are you going to do, half of everything we buy anymore is made in China, Taiwan or something like that, but this is out of the, uh, oh probably seven or eight years ago I bought out a guy's woodworking shop for $600. I got this, I got the nice cast iron top delta table saw in the shop, I got the 14-inch uh, delta cast iron top band saw, I got a joiner out of it, and I, I just got a whole bunch of tools out of it, a bunch of counter sinks. It was pretty much everything a guy needed to get going into woodworking, and I tell you what, I think I was like 28 or 29 when I bought it out, so yeah, I guess, it was, shoot, I guess it was about nine years ago now. but. Um, so like I said, it was about everything you needed to get going for 600 bucks, and you can't really beat that. The guy who owned it all passed away. His nephew, we worked together, and he wasn't into woodworking. He was just looking to make a little bit of money, and so it worked out great. I brought home like a, a full truckload of shop tools, and I don't know how we got it all packed into that truck, but we got it. So anyway, next time out, we're going to be back onto the planer stand. We've got to work on the other side. We're going to finish a couple of mallets up. We'll do that here and there as I can. I don't want to devote a ton of time to it, but uh, I'll show you guys how the joints fit from this machine here. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.